Hold on a second there, guys. Any good at answering questions? Are you any good at... Just stand right there a second now. Where are you from? Ukraine. Oh, dobry den. Jak sprawy? Good. Ludi ne hacite havarite pro smirch. No, no. Okay. Do you see here? What do you see? How many letters can you see? Stand back a little bit, because okay. you might have a problem. Um, Skolke Gina. Gina. Starshe? Maloche? Babushka? Are you old? Old lady? No, 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 not old. Young. Young and old? Young. So you see two? Just one? Yeah. I see this one girl. Dva. Yeah, like black hair. Dva. Dva Gina. So I can't see this. No? I can't see. Maloche? Yeah, Maloche. Maloche, okay. Maloche. Yes. I. Yeah. I. And on her neck? Yeah. What's on her neck? On her neck is. Yeah, yeah, no, like that. Okay. 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 Starsha Gina. Mouth. Oh, yeah. see? Yeah. See? Yeah. Now you see it? Yeah. You see? Yeah. See? Okay, so people have different perceptions of things, don't they? You understand me, English? Okay, someone can take a microphone. Okay, it's just a few quick questions, okay? Now, you're from Ukraine, so you're experiencing war, okay? And there's trouble in your life, trouble, everything, okay? So I don't want to put put pressure on you, okay? But I have three questions I like to ask people generally in public, okay? Yeah. And this may be very interesting coming from your point of view. Okay? Right, yeah. You understand? If don't worry, I can translate something. If I what? I can translate something. Okay, say, okay. Yeah. Uh, do you believe that there is a God? We very to Bog. Yeah. Yep. Yes, Bog. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And by God, what do you mean exactly? Yes, I'm like what I ask the uh, like what I ask God, yeah? You know, what do you, if I say describe who is God, what is that? Хорошо, если вас просят вопрос, типа, кто, что за такое Бог, что вы ответите на это? То есть, кто это, что это? Like, he can always, like, that's, we can't understand, we can answer for this question, because that's God, like, for me and my friends, that's like the, he can always, like, this, I don't know, that's like rain, that's like snow, like, Difference yeah. from person to person? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, most people, when we ask them this question, they will simply say, I believe that God is the one who made everything. Yeah, yeah, like okay? that, yeah. That's, that's all I'm asking. Okay. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> Not like what color his eyes or... <laughs> yeah. Is that, is that your Bible there, by the way? Yeah. Okay. So, second question. Do you have a soul? Dosh. Dosh? Da, we very you have yeah, a soul? Yeah. yeah, like that. What is it? What is it? That's like when you cry or something, angry, if you're angry, yeah. that's like you feel. The feelings? Yes, yeah. Okay, is it part of you? Is it invisible? I I think not, I think that's invisible, but we can touch it this or something. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Just I'm only asking questions. The third question is, what do you think happens to you when you die? Как вы думаете, что происходит, когда вы умираете? Let's say, what happens to the soul when you die? Что типа происходит дальше, когда вы умираете? Like yeah, restart again. Restart again. Yeah, like you uh, you again born and that's you can start again your life. Yeah. Mm. Well, first of all, we all know 
that people die once. Yeah. I don't know. I... One time, yeah? Yeah, we can you, say you, like you can't that. say I, I have had many experiences of this, but we don't know. We can say like that you can uh, die just in one time in the just your one life, like you can die and your next life. That's... But what I'm saying is that how many times have you experienced that you know of? Yeah, you know for sure. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> okay, I'm not sure. No, how many but I you died. know that you know that when you see someone dying, you go, That's it. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's it. Now, if there's something after that, that's a different no. story, okay? Yeah. But um, a lot of people believe what you're talking about in English is called reincarnation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which means coming back again in some form. But it may not be as a human being in reincarnation, like Buddhists believe in that and Hindus believe in that, right? They might come back not as a human being, but as a snail. Mm -hmm. As a rabbit, yeah. as a giraffe, yeah. who knows? All, all in, the, in this life, all, all can die. All, yeah. all die. Like but, flowers or like the human or like animal. Yes. Well, here's the thing. Those are questionable things as to, does that really happen? That you come back as a different thing and it's a continuous cycle over and over, over maybe thousands of millions of years. That What am I this time? A bird. Yeah. Uh, this time a snail. This <laughs> Or maybe if I'm a really, really good person, I come back as a human being. Yeah. But this is very questionable because we see 7 billion people on Earth. And are they all such good people who came back as human beings because they're such a good person in a previous life? It's questionable. Yeah. I will tell you one thing. We base what we say on the Bible. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with the Bible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, we base what we teach on the Bible, and it says this in the Bible. In Hebrews chapter 9, it says, It is appointed unto man to die once, mm -hmm. not twice, yeah. not three times. And besides that, we die once, but after this, we're told, there's a judgment. Mm -hmm. So what happens there? If there's a judgment, how do you think you do? And I don't have an answer on these questions, really, because after this, I can't. Uh, I don't know what what I mean. What so I do. you you don't know. Yeah. I'm okay. Not, uh, now, if God would speak to us through His Scripture, the Word of God, and tell us there will be a judgment, mm -hmm. then He's going to be the judge. Okay. Yeah. The question is, how would you do if God judged you today? Say, for example, today. What's your name, by the way? Arthur. Arthur. Yeah. And you? Renat. I didn't get that. Renat. Renat. Okay. Tanya? Helen. Helen. Yeah, yeah. So, supposing my name is Michael, by the way. Okay. okay. Nice now, if today is my final day, yeah. what happens next? If, if, there's, if the Bible is saying to us that there's a judgment and God is the judge, <clears throat> then I better be either, you know, either I'm in a, one category or the other. Am I good enough? Am I bad? Am I going to another place? Is there a judgment? These are the questions that people need to answer, mm -hmm. right? So because of all the things that are happening in your country, there's a lot of people dying and you, people will wonder, well, what does actually happen? Even without wars going on, supposing you have a grandmother or a, a cousin who dies, you look at the person and you go, wonder what happens when they die? Mm -hmm. Well, here's where the Bible is very crystal clear. It is appointed to, unto men, you die once, but after this there will be a judgment. Yeah. And the judge is God who's holy. Yeah. So the question is, do you think you'd be okay to face the judge on that day? Короче, вопрос в чем, типа, состоит? Вот когда вы умираете, и, типа, вы не можете решить свою судьбу, то есть, типа, за вас решает Бог. Типа, хорошо вы выжили, типа, были плохими или нормальными, то есть, типа... И он выберет вам место, типа, другого перерождения, или вы будете человеком, или вы будете, э, там, каким-нибудь животным, или тем же цветом. I'm sorry, can you, can you repeat the question? How do you think you would do if you were judged by God? Okay. И, типа, как вы думаете, что вы будете делать, когда попадете к Богу? Хорошо? Yeah. Because you have to ask yourself, do you think that you are a good person? I think I think so, yeah. Okay, everyone says that. Who's going to say, I'm a really bad person? But how good do you have to be to go to heaven, for example? 
But I think that uh, can answer the just my God. Hmm? The just He can uh, answer for this question. Like, Only God can answer. Yes, the just He can uh, answer on these questions because I can't say was I bad or was I good. Well, here's the deal. God has given us rules, standards by which we can check to see how I'm doing. If yeah. you were going for an exam, maybe English or mathematic exam, there's a pass mark. Okay, mm -hmm. you must get this score yeah. or you fail. Yeah, like okay. Let's say, for example, with God, the pass mark is 100%. Yeah. Then that means not one of us, none of us, ne ne nobody, right, yeah, is yeah, going yeah. to pass, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Therefore, if we all feel and God says, I'm the judge, you, you get out of my sight, you're going to hell. Okay? Mm -hmm. Where does that leave us? Hopeless. Yeah? Yeah. Maybe. And God is, if, if God has the right to do that, he says, I, I make the rules, you broke the rules, hey man, you're in trouble. There's some good news. Mm -hmm. The good news is that Jesus Christ is God who came in the flesh. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, есть хорошая новость, то, что типа, когда Иисус Христос вернется, тогда будет хорошая новость. Это, типа, yeah? Yeah. He lived a perfect life. And he was punished as if, as if, he, as if he was the one who was guilty. You understand? Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. So he's being treated like he's the guilty one when he's not guilty. So that he could transfer his goodness to the one who believes in him. Therefore, a person who trusts in Jesus Christ is saying, I don't trust how good I am. Have I been a good enough person? But I'm trusting that what Jesus Christ did is enough for me. Никто не может сказать, насколько он хорошо верит в Бога. То есть, то есть даже он сам не может ответить, насколько сильно он верит в Бога. То есть, типа, но он понимает, что каждый после смерти попадает к нему так или иначе. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. right. Okay, that's so good. our encouragement to people is you need to consider getting right with God when you recognize a hey God, a hey Lord, a hey God, mm -hmm. you know, I am a sinner. I've messed up. I've done things that I shouldn't have done. I broke your rules. I need your forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And then I need to also place my trust in Jesus Christ so that I'm ready and prepared should I die today. Mm -hmm. He always ready. No, oh, yeah. I Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I have something to offer you if you want to read something in English or mm -hmm. yeah, I don't yeah. have anything else. This is about the judge. This is a simple little leaflet. This is a gospel of John, whoever wants to take one. And I encourage you to read through them. Where do you guys live, by the way? I live in Central, in, in Koto, like the front of Jen, Jen Joyce. Mm -hmm. They live in Kaos. Where do you live, Trilly? No, no. It, here. There, oh. We always live here. Muslim? You're Muslim? Yeah. Musulmani? Okay. I met a Muslim yesterday who has, he said, I'm not full Muslim. He says, I'm 30% Muslim. Is it possible? Он типа не полностью, он говорит, встретил данного мужчину, и он сказал, что не полностью на, типа, мусульманин, он всего на 30%. То есть, типа, это как ощущается действительно? То есть тип сказал, что типа я не до конца мусульманин, я верю только на 30%. Как ты думаешь, ты на все сто процентов веришь? But he believed in on 100%. percent. Okay, but let's say that I believe that this is a barrel. Yeah. Believing in one thing, but practicing and acting is another thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Say for example, and I use this illustration. Okay. There's a man who's able to walk this thin wire mm -hmm. across Niagara Falls called Blondin. He's able to walk tightrope walk, yes? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. And he said to all the people, how many of you believe I can walk across this line mm -hmm. carrying someone on my back? Сколько людей поверит в то, что он сейчас может пройти на тоненькой, ли... на тоненькой нитке с большим грузом на спине? То есть не каждый это поверит, что он это сможет. Или ты веришь? Ты веришь, что он сможет это сделать? То есть на нитке пройти с большим багажом на Everybody in the crowd said, 
yes, we believe you can do that. Yeah, I think so. Always can this answer like that, but that's so difficult, and that's not every people can make like. No, but he he, he has dance. he's expert at this. He's oh, expert. Yeah? He's expert. Okay. He do, he can dance. Yeah. He can do anything. And yeah. then he said to the people, "Do you believe?" that I can carry someone on my back. Mm -hmm. Everybody said, yes, 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 we believe you, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Then he said, who's going to be first? То есть, типа, кто хочет первый сесть ему на спину, чтобы пройти? And all of a sudden, the people said, oh, no, no, no. But I thought you said you believe. Yeah. See? Yeah. There's a difference between I believe and I'm willing to act upon my beliefs. Ты понимаешь? Да, да, да. То есть, типа, он говорит, что типа, ты доверяешь своему выбору, и ты поэтому в это и веришь. Я ему сейчас не то, что подоверяю, я ему сейчас зубы выбегу. Успокойся. Я подоверяю. Окей, я. Ты понимаешь? Да, да, да. So one person can say, I believe that there's God. Yes. One God. Okay. So, are you But putting you your trust? trust in this god yeah but we have the all uh almost like re religion but we have christians we have a muslim we have the buddhism yes we have the people who doesn't uh, who don't believe it with god atheists because i'm not sure what the god is having yeah like the i can say after die we can something like all the place or mm -hmm. the just dark yes uh he's lived uh he's believed in god like christians Orthodox he believed, Christian, yeah? Yeah. yeah. He, li uh, he believed both, uh, God like Muslim and like uh -huh. Allah. Yes. Yeah. I, can't I can't answer on these questions because I don't know who is my God. Uh -huh. I can say... Maybe, your, I God, God, maybe your God is you. Yeah, I can say like that I'm a, because this, this is just my life and I can say or I will uh, to do these things or I not. Or I don't want or I won't. Yes. Or I can't or I can't. Yeah. In well, this life, always people can like the, go on, on the just one line with uh, some back, but we need to just uh, train for this. Well, one thing that would really help is to read God's Word. Now, the Bible, both the Old and New Testament, claims to be God's Word. Mm -hmm. The Muslims have their Quran, which they claim to be God's Word. Mm -hmm. So one would have to read those books. At least to say, is this true? Is it true? How can I know? But who's, who's one who can uh, believe it in this? Well, he can believe it in Bible or in Quran. But the first thing to do, right, is at least to read it, mm -hmm. and then say, hmm. Let's say, for example, you read this and you go, yeah, okay, I have no problem with that. If I read Quran, which I have Quran at home, by the way, okay. And I start at the very beginning and I read ten surahs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. But I find it very difficult to believe this. Mm -hmm. It's типа, very hard. Так как он крестьянин, для него было тяжело очень сильно поверить в Коран. У него есть дома, и он прочитал эти девять, девять, ой, девять, десять заповедей. Не заповеди, а как анда заповеди. But I've asked Muslim people, mm -hmm. have you read any of the Bible? Oh no, we we are not allowed to read the Bible. We don't read the Bible. И много мусульмане, кого он спрашивает, типа он говорил, что типа вы читали Библию? Они говорят, нет, мы не читали Библию. Ты вообще читал Библию или нет? He's uh, read the Bible. Well, that's good. Read that and compare and say who's telling the truth here. То есть да, и ты можешь хотя бы подумать, типа кто говорит где правду, кто правду где говорит, то есть кто Библия говорит правду или кто говорит в Коране Библию правду. Okay. Well, listen, I won't hold you back too long today. Because of, obviously we get into big conversation, yeah. But we might see around this town more. I live here, mm -hmm. and Very we good. have church that meets here in the school, the Mon School. Mm -hmm. Very good. Well, listen, thank you for your time. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Ah, como esta? Okay. So, are you born again Christian? Yeah. And do you go to church somewhere? Um, here. Where do you live, though? Online. Well, look us up online anyway. You can find our YouTube channel, but also Living Rock Church Killarney. Living Rock Church Killarney. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's in the school called the Mon. 4,000? 4,000. Let this man ask this, answer this question. Come here. 
You can hold that microphone. Okay. Okay. Fine. Now, did you punch four thousand? I did. Okay. Do you, are you convinced that you're right? Oh, no, I'm not. Nice. There are people who are mathematics uh, experts and. Uh, yeah. You're convinced. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Joseph. Joseph. Have you ever been told you've been wrong before? I have. How do you re how do you receive that? Depends. Okay. How old are you? I'm 14. Okay. So mathematics shouldn't be that difficult at this stage, right? Uh -huh. What you said is the most common wrong answer. Okay. So that's at least a, you're in the ballpark of being yeah. with everybody else. But how could people get it so wrong? Nine out of ten people get it wrong. Okay. So where did you go wrong? I don't know. Let's go through it line by line. Okay. You read it out loud. 1,000 plus 4, sorry, What's the answer? which is 1,004. Sorry. Correct. And another 1,000 is 2,004. Sorry. That's correct. Add 10 is 2,050. Correct. Yeah. Add 1,000 is 3,050. Correct. Add 40 is 3,090. Perfect. Add 10. So you're, you're the last hurdle now. Add 10 more. Yeah. 10. Is 4,000. Is it? So you went wrong at the very last hurdle. Oh. 3,090 plus 10. Oh, Jesus. Now, I know yeah. you're obviously a religious person by <laughs> mentioning Jesus there. <laughs> 3,100. Correct. Okay. What do you see in this okay. uh, picture here? Well, I turn this one over. I see one. One. Okay. Most people see one or two. Yeah. One person even thought they saw three. But anyway. Okay. Can you read aloud what's written in the three triangles? Okay. Paris in the spring. Bird in the hand, once in a lifetime. Not very good at reading either, I guess. Oh. But have you heard those phrases before? I haven't. You've never heard someone say, Paris no. in the spring? Oh, I have, yeah. Yeah. Have you ever heard them say, Paris in the, the spring? I haven't. Have you ever heard someone say, Bird in the, the hand? I haven't. What about once in a, a lifetime? I haven't. No. So, do you think that maybe because you're so familiar with terms that you don't really bother reading them? Yeah. Okay. The reason why I'm doing this is a. This is my. What do you call it? I use this as my springboard to share with people the gospel. Okay. About the Bible, because people say, "Oh, you know, I, I've read it. I know what it says." Do you? Perhaps you've read it and missed the point. Perhaps you completely got the wrong message, right? And you're convinced you're right when you're wrong. Right? And that's what I want to bring to people by asking them a few questions to see how they do. Now, while we have, what's your name, by the way? Adelina. Adelina? Annalisa. 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 Okay. Annalisa. Now, listen, listen carefully. If I was to ask you three questions, just want to hear what you say, all right? Number one, is there a God? I don't know. That's an honest answer because you could be wrong. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Okay, you don't know. And if I said, wait a second, just in case you misunderstand me, what do I mean by God anyway? I don't know. What if I? What do normally people mean by God? Creator, Creator right? Yeah. A major religious figure. A major. Well, there's plenty of people who are major religious figures, but they're not God. Yeah. Right. You might claim to be. I am God and you go really so did you create the whole universe and everything well I was born in 1960 so I don't think they're God right they may claim and even Mormons claim they're gonna become a God right but no what she's saying Annalisa is a creator who creates all things who's not created himself that's what we mean by God normally so do you believe that there is such a creator I don't think so okay We'll come back to that in a moment, okay? Second question. Do you, Joseph, believe that you have a soul? Yes. What do you mean by that exactly? I don't know. Well, what is the soul in your opinion? Your energy, your... Energy, okay. Yeah. Okay, would you have a different answer? Oh, yeah. Inner self, okay, right. Is it maybe an immaterial part of you? You can't see, could be called your spirit or soul? Okay, that's what most people mean by soul. If someone says, Joseph, you are the life and the soul of the party. What do they mean by that? Um, 
you're the energy in the house. Yeah, you you're bring the, something to yeah. it. Right, that's that. Yeah. So it can be used in different ways. So you could be right, you could be wrong. And the final question, are you ready for it? Is what do you think happens when someone dies? Let's say they're physically dead. I don't think we can know for sure. When someone dies, you can't know it. I mean, you wouldn't sort of flick them and go, they're not responding. I think we know they're dead. Wait a minute, test their pulse. We can know when someone's dead, surely. Yeah. I mean, doctors know that. Yeah. And if you say, I was at the airport the other day, and a man looked like he dropped dead in front of me. And they started checking his pulse. You know, his eyes were flickering, and I thought, well, he's still alive. But if someone wasn't responding at all, I think we would know that they're dead, right? So we know when someone's physically dead. My question was, what do you think happens when someone dies? You thought only of physical death. You can't know. But were well, you meaning like you can't know what happens after that? You can't know what happens after that. Okay. But if you have a soul, right, mm -hmm. which is an immaterial part of you, does it not leave the body? Does it carry on after this life? See, that's the common view of every religion, I think, believes that there's a, a spirit or soul which leaves the body. The question is then what next? And as you said yourself, I don't know. Okay. But there are people who may have an answer to that. Would you say I have an answer? Probably I'm going to the paradise. Probably going to a paradise? You hope so? Or is it? I believe in that one. Okay. So a paradise. And does everyone go there to this paradise? That's what I learned. Yeah. Everybody. Not everyone. Huh? Why not everyone? Like, what did you say? I have to pick this up on the mic. Yeah. Because some of soul and spirit, they are, they get lost because they don't know God. Okay. So they need to find their, their soul, where to go. Okay. Yeah. Like some of them are stuck in the middle, like they don't know where to go. Because when they're alive, they don't believe the paradise to God, so they're lost. Okay. So, there's some people get lost on their way to paradise, maybe? Uh, well, a lot of people believe, in most religions, including Christianity, would be that there's two places. And if you're Roman Catholic, there's even more, right? Yeah. <laughs> so you've got heaven and hell, and the Catholics believe in a place called purgatory as well. So that's an extra place that apparently they believe in. Okay, but... How can one be sure of where he's going if there is such a place? You can't. You can't. How do you know you can't? I don't. But you can't know. So you could be wrong with this. You can't know. And yet, how many people have you ever asked that question? Have you went around saying, hey, i got to ask more people because I haven't asked enough people. Do you know if there's anything after this life and how I can know there? How many of you asked? None. Okay, so you're probably not going to get many answers that way. Right. But what if somebody you met says, well, I know, I know. How can I know? Well, I know that I know. Now you might say, well, you don't know. I just don't believe you. But listen, we face what we teach on the Bible, okay? Which says this, it is appointed unto men that die once. And after this, the judgment, there will be judgment. And the question is, are you prepared for that when it happens? Now, if you're ill prepared, you might get lost and end up not in paradise, but in the other place of hell. Okay? But through Jesus Christ, one can absolutely be certain because he's either telling the truth or he's lying, right? When he said these words, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except through me. Now, was he telling the truth? Or is he lying? You don't know. But you haven't met him. If you've met him and you said, he's a good guy. He always tells the truth. There's nothing bad about this guy. Maybe you would then say, I want to put my trust in what he's a good We encourage you to read God's word. Would you like to take one of these? Yeah. It's a small portion of the Bible called John's Gospel. And by reading that, you will read, even what I quoted a moment ago, John chapter 14, look it up, John 14, verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life, no one comes to the Father except for me. Read that and see what you Oh! I had a few of you. But don't worry. So, Joseph, do you live here? Uh, I do. Okay, we might see you here. But I'll let you know this. I have a YouTube channel here. 
and it's all called Living Rock Church Killarney. We have a church that meets here in Killarney in the Mon School. And if you ever see us around this, or if you've ever read this, and you meet us again, you can say, hey, I'd love to have a conversation further to this. Okay? Thank you. So there you go. Thank you. Okay. And thank you for stopping as well. How's it going? Do you want to answer the question? Do you want to answer this question? Yeah. Do you want to try and answer the, this question? No. Do you know what I'm doing here with this? You're hooking me in for a bigger question. Yes. yes. And I'm, I'm, I, you don't have to do the questions, but it's like a, I'm doing a, a kind of a survey of people right. asking questions, right? But for, uh, and it is to do with my preaching of the gospel. Okay. okay? And, wh and who you, which question are you preaching? Well, I'm, I have a church here in Killarney called Living Rock Church, which meets at the Mon School. And we are Christian people. We're not Jehovah's Witnesses. They, they do meet here, by the way. Yeah. But that's not it. Not Mormons, not and, some and, and weird... What, 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 what branch of Christianity would well, you Well, have you ever heard of born-again Christian? I have. Well, that is the only type of Christian there really is, isn't there? You're either born again or you're not. You're either God has done something in your life or he hasn't. That's what it means. Okay. Right? So, three questions. Can I ask you your first name? John. 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 All right. My question is, number Maybe one... Sir. Sorry. Oh, sir. Yes, sir. Number one. Okay. Is there a God? I believe so. Okay. And just to be clear, what do you mean by that? As in, what God or what is I, I, I believe there was something that created everything. That's all I need And that is the ultimate in love. Fine, perfect. Second question. Do you have a soul? I believe I do. What is it? Huh? What is the soul? My soul is, is, is a part of me that will live on. Can, can, can I die? And which I believe is ex inextricably linked with God. Right. And the third question is, what do you think happens to your soul when you die? Where are you going? Where am I going? I don't. I, I'm not sure if I'm good enough to, to to go straight to heaven. I hope I am, but I don't again. I think I might have to do some bit of purification somewhere before I go there. But well, really. the so God, I, 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 my aim is to ultimately end up. <laughs> okay. The the Roman Catholic view, which I'm assuming that's where your background is, is it, yeah. would believe that there's also a purgatory. Yes. Which there's no evidence for in the Bible, of course, but it's just something they believe, right? A purging that needs to take place before you can get to heaven. But could it be that uh, a person can absolutely know for certain where they're going? I mean, you said you're not. You don't think you're well, 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 I, I, I would hope that I'm going to heaven. Yes, a lot of. But, 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 but only, only John, only God can judge. Okay. Now, do you recall the story in the Bible, or the account in the story of two thieves on the crosses, either side of Jesus? Yep, good and bad thief, basically. I don't know if they're good or and bad. bad but, both but both one was positive and the other was negative. Okay. <laughs> now, they were both, at the beginning, according to the Bible, they were both hurling abuse at Jesus and saying, if you are who you claim to be, why don't you do a miracle and get us off these crosses? But at some point during their time on the cross, the one on the left said to the one on the right, Hey, don't you even fear God, since we're under the same condemnation and we're getting what we deserve. But this man has done nothing wrong. Now, where did he get this from? That he suddenly goes, this man's done nothing wrong. And then he turned to Jesus and said, Lord, remember me when you enter into your kingdom. Well, what was Jesus' response to that? Well, he certainly didn't say, you've no hope. I know. Sure, you're a bad thief. No, no, well, you haven't been to church, have you, or anything like that? I mean, he could have said to him, you need to get baptized, you need to change your way of life, you need to be a better person. What did he actually say? He basically said that he was forgiven. Right. Basically. So, if he, Jesus actually said these words to him, Assuredly, I say to you, this day you will be with me in paradise. Now, let's supposing the man is not dead yet, and you went up to him as he's hanging on the cross and said, Hey, do you know where you're going when you die? What do you think he would have said? Well, because of his act of faith before, he would believe what the Lord said to him. He would say, I'm heading to paradise. And he had assurance. He had it from the, uh, from the, from the, the horse's mouth. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. So, if, if that's true, that a man can know, I mean, he hasn't been there, but he says, I'm basing it upon what Jesus said. I believe it, right? Well, is that not what the New Testament is all about, trying to give us a, that kind of assurance? John, who wrote John's Gospel, the beloved disciple who was the closest to Jesus, who laid upon Jesus' breast, remember, at the Last Supper? He wrote these words in his letter. He says, I've written these things that you may know 
that you have eternal life. Now, it didn't say that you may hope that you might have it, but he says that you may know. Now, here's the difference. If a gospel is preached, such as you grew up on, isn't giving you that assurance, but is saying it's hope. You might have to be doing this, and then you're actually not trusting in Christ. You're trusting in how good you are, how good you are, how much you've done, how I earned my way, have I done enough to get into heaven? Whereas true Christianity preaches this. Jesus did everything that you that would ever need to be done for to assure someone their salvation. The thief wasn't trusting in himself. He was trusting in Jesus Christ. You need to be able to say, I'm not trusting, have I done good enough? Am I good? What's my score? Have I reached perfection? Because you know you haven't, right? But you can say, my trust is that what Jesus did was sufficient to satisfy God's justice and to allow me to receive his righteousness okay. imagine that all your sin was placed upon jesus christ oh, yeah, and, right? he died first. and all his goodness was placed upon you that is the exchange that took place at the cross okay i'm a believer who believes this no. that my sins were taken jesus and does took that mean justice. does that give you a free ticket to do what you like in life no then? it does not right because this is the problem people misunderstand they think that uh well we we do teach what the bible says it's not of works that is you don't earn salvation by works but works certainly do follow a changed life because you would say having been changed having been given such a gift i i can't help but do what's right now no we all sin even as believers we sin right i sin we sin but my justification is based upon what Jesus did 100%, right? And he knew in advance. He knew from the moment that you put your trust in me, you're not going to live a perfect life. You will fail. You will fall. Even his disciples like Peter fell. Thomas doubted. There's all kinds of things going on. But they keep coming back to him and said, Lord, forgive me. But the main thing is that for God to be able to point the finger at you. What did you say your name was? John and say, John, you're no longer under condemnation. You're no longer awaiting a justice to fall upon you on the day of judgment because Jesus had that justice and the judgment of God fell on him in your place. Therefore, you're saying, I trust in what Jesus Christ has done. I don't need to trust in myself, how good I am, what works I've done, have I attained enough? If you were to ask people, where do you think the Pope's going when he dies? They'd say, oh, I don't know. Has he he can't even earn it, right? No, none of them can earn it. Uh, I'll just stop you there. Yeah. I need to go in proper. No problem. Okay. Why don't you take something with you? No, no. no. That's a little little leaf. That's all it is. I'm not giving you big materials. That just goes through the Ten Commandments and explains a little bit of the gospel. Okay. Thanks, John.